There's a little secret that the Kansas City Chiefs are in the market for a wide receiver, whether it's going to be by the draft, free agency, or by trade. And we just don't know what wide receiver that they're targeting yet. But one person that I say could change everything for the Kansas City Chiefs, and he wouldn't cost even that much, is Calvin Ridley. Now, he's coming off a season where he had 1,000 yards. He had 1,000 yards of the Jacksonville Jaguars with Trevor Lawrence having his very bad season. I don't know what was going on with Trevor Lawrence. And he wasn't really getting targeted in a lot. You know, it was just a lot going on. And all through that, he still managed to have a thousand yards on the year, a thousand plus yards. And I do think, and the kid is like, if, if we get him and then we draft to do like worthy man coverage is going to be impossible. We need an elite separator like Calvin Ridley, who's going to really tor tor torch his opponent. He's going to run them routes to get open, and he's going to separate so Mahomes could throw an easy dom to him. I mean, he's a very good route runner. Very, very good route runner. He's kind of speedy. He's big. He's not really small. And he has very great, solid hands. So Calvin really is an all-around dynamic playmaker, and he's a very, very explosive wide receiver. He fits perfectly with the Kansas City Chiefs. He fits perfectly. He's only 29. I mean, that's not the oldest age. You could give him a little two-year, three-year. And we'll have Calvin Ridley. I mean, he's elite. He's very good. He, you know, he had that gambling issue. That's why he was out for a minute. But he's elite, man. He still proved last season that he's solid and he's a good wide receiver that could get open. And I do think that with the Kansas City Chiefs, he could have his best career year because obviously when you're an elite, talented wide receiver like him who runs the routes like a maniac and gets open just with ease, you're going to have a very successful season with Patrick Mahomes. And we got to do like Ridley. We're going to have Ridley, Rice, Kels, and then we could get another nice whiteout in the draft. And somebody take Sky Moore spot also. And then we're looking at a very good wide receiver core, man. I, only a man could dream, but hopefully this really, really happens. And if you get really, man, trust me, it's going to be scary hours here in KC. Now, really, we don't have to worry about him saying what Mike Evans said. Oh, I want $25 million a year. Really, he's not going to say anything like that. He's going to be realistic with himself. And, you know, he's never won a Super Bowl. So, him coming to the team like the Chiefs, I'm pretty sure he'll take it. Like, I don't know. Clark Hunt is very, has been very cheap. So, we can't be cheap with him, but we could definitely offer him something that's not too crazy. I'd say $15 million a year, probably. $30 million two year deal. I think that's cool for him. Um, Maybe put some incentives, like how V usually does. That would be very, very good for really. I mean, he, he, he just has to come back, get on track, and not come back because he came back with the Jaguars. So, I just want to make a real, real comeback. Remind the world who he is in his final years and how good he is, how much he separates, how he gets open with ease. I mean, really, I don't think y'all, I, I really, so I really don't believe that y'all remember how efficient and effective this dude is. He's literally a beast. I mean, his route running is just like unreal. Um, he literally just separates from his defenders. And just because Sneed and McDuffie locks him up don't mean he's bad. Uh, that's just, that's different. You know, that's them, them DBs, that's them dudes is real. That's different. But really has had his way against other um, DBs. And he's just perfect for the Kansas City Chiefs and what we got going on, especially with Patrick Mahomes needing more weapons. Yeah, I know our offense. You know, we found we found this groove. We The offense has found this groove this postseason, right? But like I said, man, this video is all about the fact that there's still a strong case to be made that the team just needs to add to its receiver room this offseason, man. And that's why I just think we could literally sign a dude like Calvin Ridley because he's just a beast. And I mean, we've shown time and time, time, and time again that, you know, we're not going to make free agent splashes on older players, but the Chiefs do buy low on players that fits their play style you know and i think they'll buy low on a very good player like ridley who fits their play style profile as a really good separator with some late hands and I, I, that's that's what we need that is what we need and then i know we could also address our biggest need in march and then also address it again and leave the door open for a rookie and the draft, which will change everything. And I'm really hoping that's the route. I mean, oh my God, I'm sorry, I can't talk today. I'm really hoping that's the route that Veach takes, you know. Um, Calvin really, he's 29. He was a first round pick, 26 overall of the Atlanta Falcons in 2018. 
He was a number two option in the passing game alongside number future Hall of Famer wide receiver Julio Jones with QB Matt Ryan on the center. Ridley, 64 receptions for 821 yards and 10 touchdowns in his rookie season. So he also in his second year, he has 63 receptions, 866 yards and seven touchdowns in year two. And in year three, he broke out. He even surpassed Jones in the passing game. And he recorded 90 receptions for 1,374 yards and nine touchdowns. And then really had to get away from football, whatever. Um, he's six foot one. He's 190 pounds. He missed the entire 2022 season, but then he got traded to November. I mean, in November to the Jacksonville Jaguars, and he was reinstated by the NFL in March 2023. During the 2023 regular season, he had a pretty good game. I mean, pretty. Oh my God, I'm sorry. I'm bugging today. I don't. I don't cut out my mistakes. I like to keep my videos real. I'm sorry. Really was second among Jaguars pass catchers and receptions with 76. First and receiving yards with 1,016. And, and he also was first in receiving touchdowns with eight. I mean, the prop, the, like the Jaguars had a property season. You know, they had a property offense. So really did pretty good. He runs a 4.43, 40 yard dash. He's a talented receiver. He has an elite burst off the line of scrimmage. And when he's schemed up properly, he could still be very, very productive, even though he's about to be 30. Um, now they said his market value is four years and 68 million. Now I don't know if Veach wants to do that, but I, like I said, he could easily finesse it and bring it down to 15 mil and add some incentives. I mean, given really a four year, that'll keep him until he's 33. And receivers still, some receivers that run the routes are very good. They still end up being good at 33 years old. But right now we gotta fix these issues with Chris Jones and Sneed so we can finally be active and free agency so we can either sign really or another free agent wide receiver or draft a receiver you know we cut mvs so if we could add really you know we'll just insert more veteran experience into one of the team's youngest position rooms and we could get that offense the downfield spark that has been searching for also got some videos coming on some wide receivers from the draft um i got some videos coming on even more free agent wide receivers such as hollywood brown Darnell Mooney, who's really one of the more realistic options for us. I'm gonna make one on Gabe Davis. Yeah, even though I don't, really, I don't really like bro. I'm gonna make a video on him still. And then, um, yeah, just keep making videos on wide receivers. That's really what we need the most. And then I can make some videos on the wide receiver draft prospects. I got some coming for Worthy, Brian Thomas Jr., and some other names. I'm going for the ones that we can actually get, not dudes like Marvin Harrison, who we're clearly not getting. But I mean, I could still make a Marvin Harrison video because I, I, I could make it, and then I could talk about something that I would like for us to do, but it's not going to happen. But yeah, Chiefs priority, and I'm out. Peace.